I'm very excited to show you how to solve a 2x2 Rubik's Cube, mainly because it's a lot easier than you might think. Technically, there are many different algorithms you could use to solve the 2x2, but today we will only need to remember two of the easiest ones. I plan on making a second video just to show you the others, but for now, let's go over some of the basics in cube solving before we begin. Just like the 3x3 cube that I used in the other video, this 2x2 has the same colors. And a few things to remember about the colors on, are the opposite sides. The opposite of white is and always will be yellow. The opposite of red is orange. And the opposite of green is blue. If your 2x2 two two cube has different colors in mind, that's okay. It'll just be more difficult to follow along, but it still has the same concept. So don't give up. Let's go ahead and start piecing together this first layer by getting all the white corner pieces on top facing upwards without worrying too much about the correct placement. So since we already have a white piece here, let's go ahead and just rotate the right side up so then we have the two on top. And now we'll look for another white piece. Uh, they're both on the bottom. So what we'll do is just rotate the bottom to the side that doesn't have the white piece on top and then rotate it 180 degrees. So now we have three on the top and now we just have one on the bottom. Uh, so what we need to do now is uh, if we have one last piece on the bottom, the best way to get it back to the top is to place that white piece underneath of the piece that doesn't have any white on it. So right now it's, it's not in the correct position. So we'll move this white piece over here so it's right beneath the piece that doesn't have any white in it. Now what we need to do is rotate this right side uh, clockwise so the white piece is facing us then we'll move the bottom piece over to the side that has the white pieces in it now we'll rotate this right side back so then we could have the three on top and then we could go ahead and put this white piece back in its last position so um, we'll go ahead and rotate this over because this piece will need to flip over here and replace this one so we'll rotate the right side towards us the bottom switch over and then the right side will go up so now we have the the white completed on top now to figure out whether or not we have the white completed or you know if it's solved correctly or not we will have the same two colors on each side right now we do have two reds in the back so what we need to do is um, we need to solve this orange side because we know that the opposite of red is orange and the opposite of blue is going to be green. So there's going to be green on this side, orange, blue, and then red. And since we already have the two red, uh, we'll go ahead and put these oranges right here where they should go. So to put the oranges here, we'll go ahead and rotate this right side down, and then the bottom over, the right side back, because we don't want to mess up these. And then we're going to go ahead and get the orange back in its place up here. So now we have the two blues, two reds. Now we just have one more orange piece, uh, one more orange piece to fix. So this right side will go down, the bottom will go to the left, the right side back up, because we don't want to mess up this red side. So now this last piece needs to go here. So the right, what we could do is just move it over twice, because essentially we need to move this white piece here. So we're going to rotate this left side down rotate the bottom and then we're going to go ahead and put the white back up top so now we have the two greens the two reds the two blues and the two oranges and the white side is completed when we flip the cube over to where the white side is facing down there's going to be a yellow pattern on the top or sides the placement of the yellow pieces is necessary for completion of the second layer. Here on the screen are pictures of various possibilities you may have and the algorithm you'll use to solve the yellow. If you're not too sure on the orientation of this algorithm, keep watch as I complete the yellow pattern that I have. Uh, here you'll see that I have the two yellows on the right and then the two yellows on the left, so you'll want to keep them on the both sides and then we'll go ahead and start the algorithm. So the R is for the right side. So right is clockwise. U is for up, which is clockwise. R with the apostrophe is counterclockwise. So we'll turn this right side counterclockwise. U for up, up clockwise. 
right clockwise, up two times, and then right counterclockwise. And then you'll see that we have another yellow pattern, which is uh, the way that it needs to go. So we'll go ahead and do that same algorithm one more time, which is right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, and then right counterclockwise. And then you'll see that we have the yellow pattern completed on top. After completing the yellow side, a lot of the time you'll get two of the same colors in the top layer, and if you do, go ahead and rotate them so that they're matching with their bottom pair. If you don't end up with the two same colors next to each other in the top layer, then you'll have to do this last move set twice, but I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. For now though, with the yellow still facing up, let's go ahead and turn our cube to where the completed side is facing back or away from us, and then we'll flip the cube over to where the white side is facing us. Now we could go ahead and begin the last moves, which is right, counterclockwise, up, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, down two times, right, clockwise, up, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, down two times, right two times, and then back counterclockwise. And then you have successfully completed the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. After completing the yellow side, if you happen not to get any of the matching pairs in the top layer, we'll have to do this next algorithm twice. Let's go ahead and flip the cube over so that the yellow is facing away and the white towards us. Now let's start the moveset. Right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, down two times, right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, down two times, right two times, and then back. So now we have uh, green right here, two green matching. So we'll go ahead and go to the green side. So now we have a completed green side. Now that we want to do is place that towards the back. The yellow side is still completed on top. Now we'll flip the cube so that the, the white is facing us. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do the move set one last time, which is going to be right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, down twice, right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, down two times, right two times, and then the back to where it's completed. So yeah, congratulations on solving the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe for future projects.